Well, good afternoon. This is Brother Wes, Prophet Wes, and I have a direct word for uh, some people. And this word that this direct word that I'm going to give to you is going to release you, and it's the reason why certain things have not opened up yet. This is why it seems like there's certain breakthroughs or blessings that are being held up from you. And, and it's simply because, if if I can explain, because see, you, you see, 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 sweet and bitter water cannot flow from the same fountain. So God will not bless until everything is in order. This is the sequence in which God's blessed. There's a certain, uh, there's certain uh, uh, stages or there's certain um, uh, uh, guidelines that must be met before God releases certain things. And, and one of the, the guidelines is obedience in the Bible. That the blessings that God has for all of us, if we obey, they belong to us. That's the connection, and that's the uh, and that's the um, agreement. That if you walk upright before God, He said He told the children of Israel, "The affliction that I laid up on them, I would not lay them up on you, because I'm God that healeth." And so the word that I'm going to speak to you today, um, let, let me say this: The Bible says, God said, "The day that you hear My voice." Harden not your heart. Try to listen and hear what I'm saying. And what I want to speak to you today, and I don't have much time at all, uh, but there's going to be a part two. But I want to talk about the spirit of revenge. The spirit of revenge. It's a spirit. Revenge, that means to get back. I want to get back at that person. That person did something to me wrong. He did something. She did something. So I'm going to wait, and I'm going to get back at him. And so the spirit... A revenge also is a spirit of murder. Also, it's a spirit of Jezebel. If I could use it, one of the names is the spirit of Absalom. I know many people hear about the spirit of Absalom. Absalom was the, the one of the sons of David. And he had a spirit where he killed his brother. His brother did something that he didn't like. And so instead of confronting him, he laid away and hid his emotions. And when the time was right, he tricked him and put him in a place where he could kill him, silence him. That's the spirit of Absalom, Jezebel, the spirit of Jezebel. Jezebel, the same way. She did the same thing to the prophets. She would allure them with her beauty, with her looks. See, Absalom was, looked nice too, uh, looked real nice, looked handsome as a guy. And Jezebel looked beautiful as a lady. And see, this is one of the things that you must realize about this spirit. Because the same spirit exists in the last days. It, it exists now. And even the Bible said that the enemy is going to come as an angel of light. Going to come looking good. Going to come sounding good. Going to come saying everything that's right. And see, what you need to realize also, the devil knows the Bible. And so what he will do, he will play with your minds. But that's why you fight him with the Bible. And see, many of you, I'm going to get to it right now. Just a direct word. Many of you, in your heart, you have revenge that you want to get back at somebody. You want to. You won't let it go. You've covered it up real good. And some of you, you covered it up. You've covered it up. So when well, you're going on with your life, you're going on with doing what you're doing. But still, that's there and I'm going to get them. It's in your heart. And some of you, you've used, you've used the thing that you're doing as the shell. And that spirit or that hurt is still inside. It's almost like when um, having a baby in the egg, the shell covers the baby. And as the as the baby grows, as the baby goes, then eventually the baby comes out the head. And so many of you, uh, even some of you, even use have used your ministry as that shell to cover up or to bury that thing. And so, and and so you're using that, and 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 your ministry and your, what you're doing will never succeed until you remove that revenge, you remove that spirit, that spirit, that Achan, that 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 king spirit. Where because of jealousy or because of whatever, he decided to kill his brother because of jealousy. This is the thing that God wants to kill. This is the thing that God wants to expose. See, because it's a spirit. It's a spirit that needs to be dealt with. In order for you to be blessed, in order for you to move forward, this spirit has to be dealt with. Even the Bible said, if my people which are called by my name would humble themselves and pray, humble themselves and pray, seek my face, turn from your wicked ways. First of all, you need to acknowledge that you must humble yourself. And so many of you who are listening to me, you need to humble yourself and then begin to pray. Seek God's faith. Then turn from your wicked ways. See, the reason why you're mean and the reason why you're the way you are is because that thing in you, you want to get back at that person. 
You want to get back at the person. And see, the thing about it, I need to explain to you. I need to explain to you. Murder is not always just physical. But murder also can be verbal. With your mouth. Life and death is the power of the tongue. And so, so some of you, you're using your mouth. You're using your mouth to destroy. You're using your mouth to dis kill and to destroy a person's name. A person's character just because they didn't do what you thought they should do or say what you thought they should say. So, but you didn't want to leave them alone instead of let God deal with them. So you want to play God and you want to run your mouth like you are the voice of God for that particular person when God is saying to leave them alone. Touch not mine anointing and do my prophet no harm. And so many of you and some of you, you need to be careful of what comes out of your mouth because it's holding up. It's holding up your blessing. You will never be successful. You will stay in that same spot. You will stay in that same condition until you let go and forgive. Forgive today. Forgive today and learn how to stop using your mouth to destroy and murder people because slander, sowing discard, and all those things when it comes to the mouth, God hates. It's an abomination. Hear me. Rend your heart and not your garment. Humble yourself today. And let God come in and, and see, God said, I'm standing, I'm at the door right now, I'm talking to you. Humble yourself. You Nobody got to know but you and God. You and God, do what's right. You want to be blessed, you got to let that re revenge go. The Bible says, God said, revenge is mine, says the Lord. It belongs to God. Let God fix it. You can't fix it. You're not God. Do you hear me? The spirit of revenge. God is exposing and God is speaking to that spirit because God want to bless you, but he must deal with that thing. And the only way he can deal with that thing, you got to let it go. God bless you. Have a good day.